Chronicles Today with David E. Taylor. The greatest movement to ever hit the earth is now here. Father God and Jesus his son coming down on the earth and appearing notably in the sight of millions working with David E. Taylor in the 21st century like they did in biblical times as captured on the news. And for a man from Canada. This is incredible. This is the ancient biblical ministry of face to face that hasn't been seen since the days of Moses and Jesus Christ causing deliverance on a massive scale. This all started when David E. Taylor was just 17 years old living as a gangster on the streets smoking dope and in shootouts. The Lord Jesus appeared to him and from there it mushroomed into a global movement and ministry that is now changing the world. It's not a revival, it's a revolution. A new revolution of unprecedented signs and wonders that has not been seen since biblical days experience the dead being raised. Your dead can be raised! In critical condition tonight after a shooting outside a Georgia restaurant. How many of you heard about this year NFL Super Bowl? A young man was shot point blank for rooting for the 49ers. It was national news. This is the young man. Oh! The young man went into a coma and died for 20 minutes. I text Apostle Taylor. He said, Chris is not going to die. He's going to live. He shot me twice. Here it is a year later, and I'm standing before you. Experience the miracles. This young man was in a wheelchair. Dr. Zinsky cannot walk on his heels. He broke what happened. He's walking. If you came in here with a cane or crutch or cancer, you're going to leave without it. And he could not walk on an amputee. Yes. And Jesus gave you a miracle. Yes. And he is not walking. He's had a tumor in the back of his head. Jesus, mommy, it's gone. It's not there no more. Jesus, thank you so much. I don't know what just happened to me, but it felt so good. Join us now for the Miracles Today broadcast with David E. Taylor that has started a revolution in America and around the world. Hello, everybody. Listen, this is your day for a miracle. I am so excited about what God is doing around the world. And you know, you all been seeing these broadcasts here every week, every Monday we come to you. We call them Miracle Mondays. And we've been seeing God do tremendous things. And I'm telling you, God has not forgotten to do miracles in our day. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews, Jesus Christ the same today as he was yesterday, today and forevermore. The Bible says with God, nothing is impossible. I, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what problem is in your life, whether it's financial debt, whether it's sickness, whether it's disease, whether it's bondage from the devil, whatever it is, whether it's witchcraft, nothing is impossible with God. Absolutely nothing. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we also know that this is the day that he not only made, but that this is day, the day for miracles, the day that you receive what God has for you. God has so many great things for you today. I'll be back in just a moment. Face to face is the movement of God. Say that with me. One more time. And I'm going to show you how amazing this is. Because this movement only comes on earth every 2,000 years. Did you hear, did you hear that? 2,000 years. The point that God has chosen to do something so notable like this in our generation is amazing. It is, it is not normal. And so tonight, I want you to lift your hands right now. And I want you to ask the Lord, say, anoint my eyes spiritually. Anoint my heart so that I can understand your word supernaturally in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, musicians. So face-to-face -face is 2,000 years old. It started in the Garden of Eden with Adam and God, Adam and Eve and God. You see, people have gotten the notion that to see God and live, you would die because God told Moses that. And I started ministering on that last night and didn't get a chance to finish. 
But we have misinterpreted God's words when he said to Moses, no man can see me and live. We've actually taught that there is death in God's face. Basically, the way I understood it, and I know a lot of you understood it, is when we were told that, we were basically told that God is so powerful that if we see him, we would die. And to teach that, you are teaching that there's death in God's face. And the, that is so inaccurate from the Bible because the Bible says he is the God of the living and not the God of the what? Yeah. He is the God of the living and not the God of the dead. So you got to understand that if God is the God of the living, the moment you see him or have contact with him in any way, life should happen. happen. That's why Jesus said, I come to give life and that more what? Abundantly. God comes to give life, not death. So if he shows up, you shouldn't die. You should come alive. Well, that's what happened in the beginning with Adam. When God made man out of the dust of the earth, the Bible says he formed him with his hands. All the other animals were spoken into existence. Everything else was spoken into existence. We, mankind, we were made and fashioned by God, including Eve. God actually put Adam to sleep doing a... <laughs> That was the first operation that took place on mankind. He took a rib out of... For all of those who do surgery, I want you to know surgery is a God thing. Because God, oh, it says God opened up Adam's flesh instead and pulled a rib out and built a woman. So it is, it is, uh, surgery is good. I just got that revelation. I've never said that before in the history of my ministry. <laughs> but when I start standing up here, you got to understand, God takes me over my mind. And while I'm preaching to you, he's also teaching me things for the first time. <laughs> oh, I never seen it like that. Thank you, Lord. That's really funny, you know. Uh, that's wonderful, too. God opened Adam up and took a rib out of him and built a woman, built womankind. That was surgery. So you got to understand, when God first made us, he made us with his hands. Everybody else, he, he, uh, everything else, he spoke into existence, but man, he put his hands on us. And he put his face on us because the Bible says, and he blew in Ash Adam's nostril the breath of what? Life. All right? So if, if he blew in Adam's nostrils the breath of life, he had to be face to face. If I'm on the beach and you die and I, I, and I give you CPR, when you wake up, who's the first person you're going to see? The one who gave you breath, right? God gave Adam his breath in the beginning. And that's why you got to understand, don't ever take oxygen or wind lightly. Oxygen is supernatural. Mm. Yeah, you, you missed it. I know you did it. Maybe I shouldn't go down that road because y'all don't want to hear no revelation tonight, do you? You halfway sleep and ready for the party to end, aren't you? Are y'all, we just getting started. Now see, you all know when you're in the clubs, you wouldn't leave till four o'clock in the morning. And some of y'all say, it's already 11 o'clock. We just getting started in this camp. Come on, I can't hear you. All right, so now listen to this. So this is what happens. Here it goes. Now, God is coming to Adam and Eve. Listen to this. They were seeing God face to face every day. Now, I am a witness. I know what they saw because I have seen the Father and I'm not dead. And I'm going to tell you about it. You want to hear about it? Yeah. Unspeakable. Amazing. I didn't just see Jesus at 17. Jesus took me to meet with the Father. And other people are witnesses. They had gone to meet with Father. You can see him and not die. You don't have to die when you see him. Now, I know religiously, that's what everybody say. It's not true. Because watch this. They keep saying, well, this is what God said. But he says, man shall live, but shall not live by bread alone, right? But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of who? God. They keep saying, well, that's what God said. But that ain't what he's saying, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Not every word that proceeded. 
God may have said something back then, but he is modified today. Something is happening. Never seen before in the 21st century. No one thought it could be done. He decreed it before it happened. David E. Taylor has continually prophesied for seven years that there would be a breakthrough cure. There will be a cure for cancer in a pill form. Cancer will be eradicated out of America! A huge breakthrough in the fight against cancer. Treatment which is being called unprecedented. God has given us power to cure cancer! He's had a tumor in the back of his head. Said, Mommy, it's gone! It's not there no more! Jesus, thank you so much! You were in this illusion! Yeah, I just got up this morning. Make your plans now to join David E. Taylor and thousands from around the world for the biggest crusade of the year, the 2017 National Crusade Against Cancer, August 2nd through the 5th in Taylor, Michigan. I feel God's power beginning to flow through this room. Cancer has lost. When you come to this crusade, the Lord is going to give you a miracle. Call 1877 The Glory to reserve your free seat today. When I walk through the door, say, since this presence And I knew this was the place Where your love abides And we have come here To stand in the presence Of Jehovah God Almighty We are standing his presence on holy ground, and we are standing on holy ground, and I know that there.
know you when I was just a boy when I was only 17 years old and this fellowship with you have been so wonderful for the last 26 years the times you've appeared to me face to face I still wait for that moment when you'll come again still wait for that moment where you will appear to me again oh Lord I, I have not become callous just because you've come to me so many times I'm still awaiting the next time I can see you, you talk to me face to face and I thank you that you are opening the door in the heavens for this wonderful people in this room, wonderful master, that they may experience this relationship with you. Oh, that they may know the mystery of the fellowship. That they may know the mystery of the fellowship, wonderful master. They may know what a privilege it is to stand before an eternal king great one you have given me rest from all of my enemies all of those who fought me you stopped them you have been a true friend to me and I love you Lord. I thank you there is no one like you there is no one like you are the God of my fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of Moses. And I am not ashamed of what I've seen of you for these 26 years, and I will proclaim this to this generation. I will make your name known without fear of favor upon the pain of death I thank you that demonic powers in this places and all nations and cities that's represented here tonight has been routed and broken and I thank you that you've released the victory to this thine inheritance your people I give you praise Jesus I give you glory for your victory. Now if you believe it, give him the biggest shout of praise. There is a new move spreading across the face of the earth. David E. Taylor has been prophesying for years that Jesus would appear before whole groups of people, including ISIS members. I would decree unto you, the Middle East shall be revolutionized. ISIS will be broken and we command them to put down their bums and put down their weapons. Tell everybody in the Middle East you know. I saw Jesus. Jesus is coming. It's happening now. Just recently, a group of 20 Islamic terrorists were sent out by their commander to murder a group of Christians returning in their bus from a baptismal service. They started shooting their guns at them. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, dust storm comes. I mean, in smoke in a cloud, and Jesus appears in front of all 20 of them. They said his eyes was a flame of fire, and he knocked all of them down on the ground. He looked at them, and their guns just flew away like a wind took all their guns away. And then he says this to them, why are you persecuting? me and then he says I did not come to destroy men's lives and immediately 18 of them gave their life to Jesus face-to-face -face visitations from Jesus are the winning blow to destroy terrorism from off the globe David e. Taylor prophesied this appearance from the Lord live on Rod Parsley's show and also live with Bishop George Bloomer on the Word Network our altar calls are gonna change we won't just call people to the altar Jesus is gonna appear and be the altar to them the answer to ISIS is Jesus. Jesus! All it takes is him appearing to them one time. Abraham, the Lord, appeared to him at yes. the altar. Moses at the burning bush. Yes. With Paul on the road to Damascus. Jesus appears to him. He's killing Christians. He's the worst terrorist of all. That's why I know appearances from Jesus is the key to delivering ISIS. Yes. And God, you blessed me tonight. 
bless you. It is no different today. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The kingdom of God is the message. Face to face is the movement. Call 1-877-THE-GLORY. That's 1-877-843-4567. God is visiting his people raw, up front, up close, in person, face to face. A special message from Pastor David E. Taylor. I said, if Jesus appeared to me to, and changed my life, I said, then anyone could be changed. It was during the Christmas season. I was only 17 years old when it first happened to me. Jesus appeared to me in a dream, and it changed my life forever. I thought, if he could come to me, he could come to everybody else in the same way. Just as the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream, David seeing Jesus in a dream led to face-to-face -face appearances and through this book... It's happening to hundreds of thousands worldwide now. I read this book and Jesus still came to me and changed my life. The Lord Jesus came to me, just like the man of God said. The face-to-face -face book retails at $20 per copy, but now, for a limited time only, you can call and get your copy for only $12. Call today, 1-877-THE-GLORY. That's 1-877-843-4567. Don't you see what God is saying today? He loves you today. He wants you to experience His kingdom and He wants you to experience face to face with Him. I'm going to tell you something. This is your day for a miracle. You do not have to die with sickness or disease. I prayed over these handkerchiefs because the Bible says, by the, this is not a gimmick. I don't believe in doing gimmicks on TV. We want to see you help. We want to see you made whole. You see that? It says that God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul that from his body was sent to the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and diseases departed from their bodies and demons and unclean spirits departed from them. You see, for about now 20 years, I've been praying over handkerchiefs and I've seen whole villages in other countries healed, set free and saved. There was a village that was dying of sickness and I sent one handkerchief. They passed one handkerchief through the whole village. The whole village got healed. And they also gave their life to Jesus. I've seen demons cast out. I've seen people saved through this. I wanna send this to you free so you can have this in your family. Call and write me today so I can send you one of these handkerchiefs, these anointed handkerchiefs, so that you may get this in the mail. Now I want you to know something. Let's go into prayer. Let's believe God for your miracle today in the name of Jesus. And I'm also gonna pray over these handkerchiefs one more time in Jesus' name. Let, let me do that now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over these handkerchiefs in the name of Jesus. I give you praise. Lord, I pray that your glory will go across the world on these handkerchiefs to solve diseases and sickness. I rebuke all manner of demons demonic power, demonic sickness. In Jesus' name, I command demonic powers to shatter right now. God, I thank you that you're healing people all over the world as these go out around the world in the name of Jesus. And now, stretch your hands. All that is an act of faith. Stretch your hands right now. Lord, I rebuke this sickness and disease. I command all man of sickness and disease to leave in Jesus' name. I rebuke that sickness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that disease in Jesus' name. I command satanic powers over your people's finances, satanic power in their marriages to be broken in Jesus' name. With the keys of the kingdom, I break it now commanded to go. I pray for those who have businesses. God, I pray that their businesses will flourish in Jesus' name. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Such miracles are happening. A man with a chest condition has just been healed. I give you praise. A breathing condition is being healed. I give you praise. Wonderful Jesus. Yes, Lord, a stomach condition is being healed. Stomach ulcers is being healed. I rebuke that stomach ulcers in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, somebody going blind in one of your eyes. I think it's your right eye. That's right, your right eye. 
thank you, wonderful Jesus. The Lord is healing you. It's also red. It's something wrong. Some kind of infection also in your eye. The Lord is healing. I give you praise. Multiple sclerosis is being healed. A bone deformity is being healed. I give you praise. A spinal injury in the back. Your lower disc is being healed. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. All I know is you're a truck driver. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. An esophagus condition is being healed. I give you praise, wonderful master. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, uh, such power is flowing here. I give you praise, wonderful Jesus. So many miracles are taking place. Another neck condition was just healed. A person with a, a, um, a neck condition and a lump on your neck, the Lord is healing you. I give you praise, wonderful Jesus. Such miracles are taking place. Thank you. That another spine condition in the lower back. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. So many miracles. I rebuke all manner of cancer. All manner of cancer, go in Jesus' name. I rebuke the spirit of death. Lord, I also pray of these handkerchiefs as we send them out, that if anybody got a relative that have died prematurely, we command death to be rebuked. We command resurrection in Jesus' name. We command resurrection in Jesus' name. I command you to get up in Jesus' name. I give you praise, wonderful Jesus. Such power is flowing. Yes, Lord, all manner of devils and diseases are leaving. You know, I, I, the Lord has given me a word of knowledge. There's a man watching this. You have a business, and in the next 24 months, your business is going to flourish. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Your business is going to flourish. Thank you, wonderful master. Now, people, until next time, this is your friend, David E. Taylor. Know that the Lord loves you. And the kingdom of God is coming your way with power. Be excited. Be expected. Because Jesus is on his way to appear to you today. Believe him for face to face. For you and your family. Jesus is going to appear to you. Bless you. Bye-bye. Call now, 24-7 Global Prayer Line, to receive a prophetic word, prayer for healing, and your free anointed prayer call. Call now to order the premier face-to-face -face package by David E. Taylor. Face-to-face -face appearances from Jesus. Connect and follow David E. Taylor on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube, and Livestream. For updated itinerary, events, and for more information, visit joshuamediaministries.org.